like I mentioned before, there are videos for just about everything you could possibly want to learn how to do in here. You can pretty much type it in and find it. If it's not there, um, then you can let me know and I'll make a video on it. But for the most part, on the Pixel Perfect, for example, there's tutorials just about for every single thing that you will want to do. So you just have to take the time to search. Uh, let's see. Add batteries. Let's do this one. For example, uh, responder. Uh, hold on. Spell that wrong. Actually, let's see. Autoresponder. I'm sure it's in here. I just don't feel like looking for it. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. This is really simple because this is what most of you all are going to have to do. Now, first of all, this is the web version. This is the tablet view. This is the mobile view where my mouse key is. Now, if I click on the, the mobile view, now obviously you want your thing to be uh, mobile optimized. Okay. So. In this case, for the um, mobile situation, for the tablet, this is how my page will look. Now, obviously, I can put this on here and reposition the text however I, you, I want to. But the key thing is, and what I like about it, is you're able to edit the mobile view um, however you want it to display. Because whatever looks good on desktop, for example, may not look good on mobile. So I can adjust things however I want them to look for the um, mobile view, okay? Which I've already done so here, okay? The same rule applies for the cell phone view, which is here. This is how it's gonna look. Obviously my picture is not in there. I don't know if I can delete it or not, but either way, this is what it's gonna look like. I'll test it to make sure um, without any scrolls and this is how pe people will opt in. Um, and this is just to make sure that everything is clean the way um, that I anticipate it to be, etc. So you can just edit, double click to edit things however you want it um, accordingly, change font size, etc. So pretty, pretty simple stuff. All right. So the thing that people and the reason why I like this as well is that I can put this element anywhere I want on this page like there's no other site builder that I've seen that allow you to do this okay all right so here's where people get hung up at okay so how do you connect your autoresponder well it's really really simple all right what you would do is click on the form and you want to right click on the form and then you want to click on configure all right and then once you click on configure you can add mailing boss which is the autoresponder that's built inside of the system um, you can do Infusionsoft, Aweber, etc. Now, for example, I'm going to go with Aweber. And once I do this, it's going to ask me to log in. And then once I log in, it's going to tell me to copy and paste these keys inside the site builder. So I would just do that. Grab this key. And I'm going to paste that like this. And I'm going to blur it out so you can't see it. And then once you do that, uh, you just choose whichever list you want. I'm going to choose this one. And then you choose whichever form, which you have to create a form inside of Aweber first in order for this to work. I already have one created, so I'm just going to choose this one. And then it's connected. All right. Now, as far as the thank you page, so once you connect your Aweber to the your autoresponder, let's just say your autoresponder, whether it's, hold on a second, whether it's Aweber or whoever, all right, what you want to do is configure where you want um, them to go once they opt in. So basically what you would do is a couple things. One is you want to click on the options and you want to make sure that you, the redirect action, you want to make sure that you open in the same tab because if not uh, I think by default it does new tab 
So whenever if you don't change that, whenever they opt in, it's gonna open up a new tab, which is extremely annoying. Okay. So we're gonna click confirm on that. And then you wanna right click again and then you wanna click on change URL. And basically this is where you're gonna put your redirect link. So if you wanted to redirect them to another page, maybe you built with the system, um, you can do that here, um, et cetera. All right. So I'm actually gonna redirect them to uh, my easy cash code link here. So let me grab the right one. And that's not the one I want to grab. Hold on. Thing is set what I need to open up. Okay, click on that, click confirm, and then I'm just gonna say to change. And if I had a chosen a predefined funnel, it would have everything all in here, obviously. But I didn't, so I'm going to come back over here and click on this, my websites. And let's click on it, see if that chain took effect. And there it is simple as that but that's pretty much it that's all I wanted to show you right now in this moment to show you how to connect the autoresponder um, I'm still playing around with it and testing things out um, but like I said guys it's, it's really not that hard it's complicated and or complicated to build a page It's just anything you may have any questions about just drop a ticket to support They'll be able to help you out with that as well if you can't find it in the tutorials, but I'm sure that the tutorials are there. But they just updated the back office, so the search function isn't really working the way it's, it used to, but I'm sure it's there, all right? Either under training or whatever, all right? So here we go again, pixel, website, contact forms, like everything is here either on the tutorials or training so just take some time and go through it it can be comprehensive but i promise you if you take some time to learn it guys you won't regret that decision all right take care